We had a lot of fun with Milo's motion sensor, but now we're going to need to remove the sensor and add the tilt sensor. Okay, so first of all, we gotta make sure that we're going to put all the pieces back to where they belong. So we take out the motion sensor, and then we put it underneath. We also take off the whole arm that holds the motion sensor, and then we can put back all the pieces into the right places. Axles go here, ball joint goes there, and socket goes there as well, and then the flower specimen. So we take away the flower and put it into the decorations pile. Same with the reeds, the round plate, the cylinder block and the other round plate. Now we have Milo back to his normal self again. Okay, first thing we do is we add this square plate on top of Milo. I wonder what this could be. Alright, now we get four uh, slopes. Let's put Milo up there. Let's get our slopes. One, two, Three, four, then we attach it to Milo's back. Next we add I mean a plate with a beam and then we're going to get one of these long plates and then we're going to get three short beams to make a bit of a C shape one two and three one of these little joiners whoops over here and then we add this little beam with a cross hole and then we're going to get the tilt sensor okay so we lift it up make sure we get the right sensor the tilt sensor has a couple of arrows on the side it shows that this is a tilt sensor then we put that onto the block that we just created now we're going to put a cylinder block on top And then we're going to get a round grey plate with a hole in the middle. And then we're going to get a grey axle and put it straight through the middle, like that. And then we're going to put a little ball joint at the top. This makes it a little switch. Now we're going to add another another plate with a beam on top attach it to the side and now we can attach it all to the back of Milo just like that the cable and we plug it into the spot that's that's free and then finally 
we get a short red axle and we put it into the side here that makes it so that now Milo has a switch on top the switch is attached to a tilt sensor and then when we tilt it one way it can ask Milo to do one thing and then when it's tilted the other way Milo can do something else 